we have an adorable Pat Robertson clip from Right Wing Watch. He's going to call for revolution because of paperwork. Had a little procedure, something done. Uh, and I'm sitting there, and, and this, this nurse uh, is saying, well, tell us about this. And she's accessing into the computer. Well, how about how many vitamins do you take? Blah, blah, blah. How about something else? Da, da, da. When did you have that? Da, da. And, mm. and she spent forever and ever logging stuff into the computer because that's what they want to do. They yeah. want to have all those records. And you, well, how about me? I'm sick. Help me. Well, that's too bad. We've got to get the records fixed. You know, and that is so frustrating. Like that lady said in the piece, their work is never done, at least. Uh, yeah. you know, they never see their kids. They never see their family. We're just overrun by all this paperwork. Imagine the dollar working for 12 I mean, the doctor working for $12 an no hour way. and his wife working for a couple of dollars an hour. It Socialism. Isn't, uh, it isn't right. Ladies and gentlemen, we need a revolution to stop these so-called progressives from destroying this country anymore, but they're getting pretty close to the tipping point. It is not a pleasant scenario. A revolution because a doctor or a nurse asked you some questions. Oh, you want to talk about hashtag first world problems. You know, I don't want to tell you about my history of broken bones or the vitamins I take or the pharmaceuticals. God damn it, help me. Oh, this is socialism and Obama. Pat, they need the information to diagnose you to then give you the help. See, Pat is so uh, busy, uh, stuck up his own ass with faith healing and God and Jesus and the Bible that he thinks you could just walk into a doctor's office and say, okay, cure me, put me in some machine, press a button, and I'll be better, right? Or give me the, just by looking at me, you should know what medication I need. No, doctors actually base their diagnoses off of information. So you have to say, okay, here are my symptoms. I have a headache, I'm, uh, my blood isn't clotting, um, I have broken bones, I have a deficiency in whatever. No, but that you need to give them information in order to diagnose you. So when you're giving them information, they're helping you. But he spins that as like, ah, goddamn socialism, Obama. His little cohort there was like, yeah, that's socialism, that's a problem. But Obamacare isn't even close to socialism. The private insurance companies are still in the driver's seat. This is as capitalist a system as you could ever get. And by the way, understand something, I have some uh, personal insight into this because one of my best friend's fathers is a world-renowned lung doctor and he says all the time, oh my God, it would be so much easier working in the United States of America if we got rid of the private insurance companies and if we had Medicare for all. Medicare has the easiest paperwork, and when it comes to the private companies, it's the most paperwork, and it's so over the top, and we fucking hate it. So, ironically, the thing he's complaining about that he wants a revolution about is the private insurance company paperwork. And guess what, Pat? I agree with you on that one. <laughs> Get rid of the private insurance companies, do Medicare for all, do a single-payer system like every other modern industrial nation, okay, and have our health care pay for, paid for via our tax dollars. Instead of all of our money going to fight wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and blowing $7 trillion on 900 military bases and no-bid contracts to Halliburton and Raytheon and KBR and Boeing, fuck that. Put all that money towards little kids fixing their broken ankles and people with diabetes and cancer and heart disease. And that's where I want my tax dollars going towards. But Pat Robertson, he just can't, he can't piece it all together. He's in that, he's in that brain failing state now. He's the old grandpa who can't, doesn't even have coherent thoughts anymore. He's like, oh, paperwork's bad. Obama's bad. Socialism's bad. I don't like any of the revolution. Viva la revolution. Man, man, what, what was I saying again?